hi guys bless you all welcome blessings peace and love to you who is listening in right now i wish you a wonderful day guys a productive day filled with laughter love peace of mind and contentment for one's life so today word is guys you don't have to prove so i don't know who need this word today right but whoever you are listening in right now just know beloved that you don't have to prove anything to nobody but yourselves and that's fear and fact you see most people in today's society it's like they have to prove a point to somebody in order to feel good right in order to get somebody validation and that's why i'm here to let somebody know today and to remind somebody today that you don't have to prove anything to nobody but yourselves you see people will place all sort of expectation on you who is listening in right now if you allow them to what i mean by that well, i have a couple of bad words that i really want to share guys and it come from romans 12 verse 1 to 2 it says do your best to present yourself to god as one approve a worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word of truth and that's true guys you don't need to be ashamed of who you are guys right you don't need to be ashamed of who you are as a man as a woman you don't and that's why guys you know you see people will make you want to feel ashamed of who you are and what you have been through right people want to also look back on your past to make you feel some sort of way and that's why guys you know you don't have to prove nothing to nobody but yourself right and that's why in romans 12 verse 1 to 2 god is reminding somebody do your best to present yourself before god right do your best for you live for you see yourself approve for you as what i mean by that see yourself good enough for you don't be ashamed of your past, your present, your future. Don't be ashamed of who you are as a man, as an individual man or woman, guys. Right? By you not being ashamed, guys. Right? You're living out your truth. By you not being ashamed, by you not proving anything to nobody, you're living your truth. You're living for you what i mean by that also well check out another bible verse come from romans 11 verse 33 it says god's richest wisdom and knowledge are so deep that it is impossible to explain his decision or to understand his ways and it's true we as human being we can't understand the capability of god we will never get it either. And that's why God knows what is best for us. We at time believe that so we know what is best for us. No, we don't know. And that's why, guys, you see, God's riches, wisdom, and knowledge are way deeper than human understanding and knowledge. And that's why man can be like God never ever and that's why guys right it is impossible to explain god's decision for our lives and that's why you who is listening in right now you have to understand beloved that everything is possible with god guys everything and anything is possible with god and that's why, guys, you don't need to prove nothing to no man or no woman, guys. But live out your truth. It's hard for people today to live their own truth. Most people today can't live their truth because, guess what? They need people approval and people validation for their own life. That makes sense? That doesn't make no sense. And that's why, guys, dive more deep into Romans 11 verse 33 for yourselves and apply it in one's life guys it's a wonderful scripture to remind somebody today 
that God richest wisdom and knowledge are so deeper than human wisdom and knowledge, guys. And that's why we as human beings cannot understand the capability of God. And that's why, guys, there's no limitation when it commands to God, guys. So whoever you are listening in right now, just understand, beloved, that you don't need to prove nothing to no one, guys. Right? But yourselves, beloved. Blessings, peace, and love. Have an awesome day today. Walk good. Thank you.